Ever wondered what makes a woman instantly feel drawn to you? It's not about looks, it's not about money, and it's not even about fancy moves. There is something far more powerful that triggers attraction within seconds. And if you've ever wondered if you're missing the key, then stick around because today I'm going to show you exactly how you can make any woman like you instantly. Attraction is not a surface level thing. It's emotional, it's psychological, and it's even instinctive. With that being said, let's get right into it. Number one, be confident without being arrogant. Your ability to be confident in your own self, in your own skin, and yet still be down to earth is a two very powerful combination. Being at ease with yourself, being confident in yourself is something that is very, very attractive. This doesn't mean that you have to be the loudest person in the room, right? But just being confident in your own self. Women can actually sense a man who feels at ease with himself. When you're confident in your own self, you're going to project this I am comfortable in my own skin energy. Like it's going to show in your body language, the way you carry yourself, you're calm, you're gentle, you're not pushy. You don't have to shout for the whole room to hear you to know that you're there, right? It's going to show in the way you carry yourself and that right there is highly irresistible. Number two, eye contact. Eye contact is powerful because it communicates interest, focus, and yes, vulnerability. Your ability to hold your gaze just a second longer shows that you're not afraid to show her that you can be present with her. And guess what? It creates an electric connection. Let me say you're going to look at like say you never see a human being before. <laughs> but then even if it's just a second longer, this is you saying that you're not afraid to be there with her, to connect with her, and that you would want to know her more. It's very powerful. So maintain eye contact. I remember when I met my boyfriend then, who is now my husband, right? So I remember that Sunday morning, we actually met in church. <laughs> so we had come all the way from Zaria to Kaduna because that's what we do every Sunday. Then we would attend church service in Kaduna City all the way from Zaria because then I was with this house on the Rock Fellowship in Zaria, and then there was this provision of bus that would convey students all the way from Zaria to Kaduna City to attend service. So this particular morning we had come for service. I think it was praise and worship time. And I just noticed that there's a guy I just sent to me who was always glancing at me. And you know, the funny thing is that all the times that I looked at him, he was staring at me and he would smile. <laughs> so in my mind, I'm like, ah. Why this guy they look me? Why did he smile? And I don't think I recall his face. I don't know him from anywhere. I think that was the first time I was seeing his face. All the times that I looked at that direction, he was looking at me and he would always smile. <laughs> so I stopped looking at that direction. I just focused on, you know, my focus, my service. And that was it. So after the service, he walked up to me, he introduced himself and apparently he knew my brother already and he actually knew me, but that was my first time of seeing him. I didn't know him. And then we got talking and the rest is history. Like, you know, <laughs> so you see how powerful eye contact can be because it just creates that awareness in the other person. Now I know that this guy is interested in something. I don't know what it is. It might be friendship. It might be love affair or whatever, but I just know that because of the kind of eye contact you're maintaining, it means that you're interested in something. Number three, you make her feel understood. Now, one of the fastest ways to making a woman like you instantly is to make her feel like you understand her. And this is not even about showering her with a lot of compliments and all of that. Compliments are okay, they are fine, okay, but it's about active listening. You know, when it comes to having a conversation, there is this culture of, you know, I'm saying mine now, and then you're already warming up to say what you want to say next, thinking about what you want to say next, instead of listening to me. This is something that is common in our everyday life today, but I tell you that if you have the ability to actively listen, just listen to what she's saying. Focus less on what you're going to say after that and just listen to her, lean onto her and just maintain eye contact while she's talking to you. Now you're going to make her feel like you understand her perfectly well. Once she feels that she is understood by you, immediately she's already liking you. <laughs> I'm telling you this one, this particular one works like magic. Women love to be listened to because we like to talk more. Most of us anyways, we like to talk more, especially when we feel comfortable around you. And if you have that ability to just lend the listening ear, it's very powerful. Ask thoughtful questions. Okay, don't just try to impress her with maybe your grammar or your ability to throw jokes and all of that. All of those things are not bad, but then 
remember what you're trying to do remember the goal always remember the goal okay so with that in mind ask thoughtful questions such that she's now able to express herself more and then listen number four humor there's something about being light-hearted around a woman a woman would naturally and deeply connect with you once you're light-hearted you know those small small jokes you throw makes her feel at ease with herself and just feel comfortable and once she's comfortable around you she begins to like you i remember one time i went to an electronic store to buy something and you know, while we're trying to test out what I'll need, the specification and all of that, the owner of the store is not quite a person who has a sense of humor. But then this guy just steps in and apparently the guy works with him. But at the time when I came, he had stepped out. So eventually he came back and then within seconds, he was already throwing jokes and I just found myself laughing. <laughs> So in that time, I felt very comfortable and then it was almost as if I began to understand everything I needed to understand to make my choice. So there's something about just being light-hearted. You don't have to become a stand-up comedian, okay? You don't need to become basket mouth by force, right? <laughs> but your ability to just throw light jokes and make her relax, make her comfortable around you, is going to make her like you. And then when it comes to throwing jokes, this is a catch. Try to avoid things that has to do with her body or her culture or her beliefs. Some people might interpret it in a wrong way and it might not go well for you. <laughs> All right, so just keep it simple, keep it lighthearted and just keep it moving. Number five, be mysterious and genuine. Now, this is where some guys get it wrong. You know, just because you want a lady to like you and you just want to feel vulnerable doesn't mean that you have to start telling her your entire life history. No. You don't need to tell her things which you're not supposed to know, at least at that point. Don't just go all in within seconds and start revealing information that are too heavy for her to take at that time. Because I believe that when it comes to dating and mingling with women, everything is in stages. There's a stage you get to, there's a point you get to with a woman and you can tell her everything and anything. So you have to be mindful of the things you say, creating some level of mystery around you. Let her not just know everything. <laughs> that act alone is kind of sexy and highly attractive to a lot of women because you're keeping her guessing, thinking, okay, what could he be into? What is he all about? Why does he not talk too much? Why is he, you know, a lot of questions are just going on in her mind and because of that, she's going to pick interest. And the next thing is that she's going to like you. But in all of this, be genuine, like I said, because women can actually spot fake mystery from a mile away. It's just a natural thing. Number six, confidence in rejection. Now, this is something that a lot of people do not talk about. Okay, you have to be confident even in the face of rejection. When you're coming onto her and then you're showing all of these interests or doing all of these things and she's just showing you like she's not interested, who is this, please go away. You know, your ability to take it confidently is going to send some signal to her that would even in turn make her begin to like you. Because there's something about rejection that when you take it the right way in the end it's going to work in your favor because when she's rejecting you the expected behavior is that you would get angry and just go away and you'll be like yeah who the hell does she think she is please please what there are a lot of fishes in the river you know all of that line you use <laughs> but then when you graciously just confidently walk away still have a smile on your face and you don't show any negative energy it's going to make her feel intrigued about you and she would look like she would look like okay this guy ah, this guy is very confident so you know even shake say but then i say i don't want make it get out and everything you know even shake and because of that she's going to find interest in you and she would begin to like you when you master all of these tips you won't just be that guy who catches her attention, you will be the guy who keeps it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.